guys, Dave here at Mobile World Congress and I found my way to the Rico stand. Now, many of you might be familiar with Rico because we've had the Rico Theta and the Theta S, they've been out for a while. They're little 360 cameras that seem to be becoming ever more popular. Of course, 360 is something that is growing rapidly and it's a new technology that people seem to be really latching onto. So, Rico have got a development of this and it's this little device here. Now, this is the Rico R. It looks it feels an awful lot like a Theta, like a Theta S. Um, and it does pretty much the same thing in the sense that it is 360 degree video. But what's different about this is that it is 360 degree live streaming. So it's specifically designed for live streaming out to YouTube or Facebook or any other, uh, any other platform that will take a, a 360 degree live stream. Um, and they're aiming kind of at the professional market with not much of a professional price. It's on pre-order at the moment, it'll be available in May, and it's available for 499 US dollars. So, not actually an awful lot of money. Now, it doesn't have battery in on its own, so you've got to put an external battery pack in, you know, some kind of USB power supply. And it does need to take a feed out to go through either a laptop or some kind of decode box to be able to stream out onto the web. But as I say, a laptop will do it perfectly. Um, so that's not something necessarily you need to add on. But this with a, with a battery, you're pretty much good to go. It's a 2K, uh, 2K stream. Uh, it films at 30 frames a second. And yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's quite nice. It's a good weight. Uh, it feels nice in the hands. And I think it's gonna be interesting to see where this 360 technology goes, particularly from a live point of view. If you're thinking of uh, events, covering events, concerts, that kind of stuff, I think that's somewhere that 360 is going to be really good. It's going to be a real growth market uh, in the next couple of years. Uh, and this seems to be a very simple, uh, not very expensive way into that. So, well done Rico. I look forward to getting my hands on one uh, when they actually come available uh, in May. Uh, for now, something very interesting to keep your eyes on.